but you know the people that are actually developing the game their their intentions are probably good you know they want to make a game that's fun for you know their friends and them themselves and stuff like that but you know the big guys up you know on the on the top of the ladder they just want that money you yeah know what i mean um, it's unfortunate that, you know, it, it went down that road and, and, you know, they're making, they're wasting, they're almost wasting money making these zones that are just not going to be used anymore. But, um, and for, for StarCraft, StarCraft 2, um, my opinion on the expansions is that um, expansions are cool, you know, they're great. Um, I just don't like expansions being like, yeah, we have like, uh, 16 expansions coming out over the course yeah. of five years, uh, you know, getting <laughs> up a total of, you know, uh, you know, five hundred dollars, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, net total income. Um, so yeah, that's well, what we're going to do. It's just, it just seems too like the, the way that they talked about it originally, they, said, oh, StarCraft II is coming out in three different games. It's like they were trying to cover up the fact that they were planning expansions from the start yeah. by saying that it was going to be a three-part game. No, that's bullshit. That'd be StarCraft three and four. <laughs> yeah. Except StarCraft two and this... Basically, it's, it's kind of like game. episodic content almost, the same way yeah, that Half-Life yeah. did it. Yeah, so Except, Half I'll make another point at Valve. You know, if you're going to break a game up into three different pieces... The idea is that you can release them, you know, periodically over a, a time so that people can enjoy each piece. Half-Life 2 Episode 3, I think I think Episode 2 came out like four years ago now. I don't even know. Like, I lost count of when I played that. If not Just saying, Valve. Didn't it come out like 2005 or four? Oh, I don't even know. I, I think they missed the point of episodic content. <laughs> I think it was yeah. 1982. We should be waiting for Half-Life 3 right now, not Episode 3. Yeah. Well, I mean, hopefully, if, at least if they're waiting this long, hopefully they're developing a new source engine. Yeah, that's what know. I had heard. I had heard that they were working on a new engine. That might have been some of it. But you can never tell, I guess. Okay. They haven't announced any new engine yet, so... Um, a little, uh, speaking of games that are taking forever to come out, uh, Duke Nukem Forever oh, is apparently, <laughs> on the room control I hear, is um, going to be... Uh, Made by Gearbox. Yeah, apparently Gearbox. Yeah, I heard yeah. that. Yeah, that that. I seems think I right. think I had heard that. I wasn't sure if I had heard Gearbox, but that seems that seems right. Yeah, it's definitely Gearbox. It's the same people that made Borderlands, right? Yeah. yeah. So Duke Nukem cool. Borderlands. That'll be cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they probably could have just put Duke Nukem out like six years ago in whatever state it was in, and they probably would have sold and made a lot more money than they're yeah. making right now with it. There's some people that still have pre-orders for that Duke Nukem game. They still have the pre-order, like, receipt. Yeah. Just, like, so I basically wasted, like, 30 bucks. I mean, yeah. back then, <laughs> like, you know, 60 bucks. But you know what I mean, right? Like, yeah. they're just, like, <laughs> okay, it's been, like, you know, what is it, like, 12 years or some shit like that? Like, Yeah, it's been I a long time. I forward to that on my PS1. Yeah. <laughs> I think the yeah. game's gone through three different engines. I'm pretty sure I've seen footage of all of them, and it was, like, one of them was, like, Half-Life 1 kind of era of graphics, and then they had, like, a... I don't know. It's gone through a lot. Yeah, for sure. But back on the topic of those expansions, um, I had heard unconfirmed, I think, rumors that you're going to need the expansions to continue playing online. Um, probably with... They're probably going to add in, like, new units or some shit. Yeah, I think that was the issue. In order to play with the new units, you'll probably have to get the expansion, which, I mean... I understand, like, you know, they want to add more units, you know, make the game a little bit, you know, more different, like, more different in, in, to the player, and then, you know, more people will be like, oh, yeah, Star uh, StarCraft II expansion, right, I love that game. Yeah. And I think, uh, because after a while, like, you know, the hype will kind of die down. <laughs> well, that's, that's what I mean. I think I had discussed this earlier with you. I think if they spread out the expansions at the right intervals, then it makes it fair, because it keeps interest in the game. People who want the campaign are getting more campaign. Um, yeah. And, you know, they can... And if they price it well, it's I think it's fair. Um, yeah. If if they expect us to pay 60 for each... Like, I was kind of pissed off that StarCraft 2 is $60 in general, um, given that PC yeah. games are usually 10 But, I mean, you know, this is Activision <laughs> what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, I meant $10 cheaper than oh, okay. console games, sorry. <laughs> I I that game you get $10 games, are you good? Are you ordering <laughs> China or something? Yeah, What's that? Games. <laughs> um, um, he has some liquidated from Walmart. 
<laughs> well, uh, I think, you know, expansions are good and all. Um, and, like, uh, StarCraft 2 is expensive, but um, I don't know if you've... I, I know you watched that one video of the, the editor. Yeah, the yeah, editor. the editor. Or, the editor, or, if they just sold an editor with an engine like that, they could sell that for, like, millions alone. Yeah, like, it's think true. Think about that, right? Yeah, it, so, I mean, you do get a lot. $60, you get StarCraft 2, right? You get the full, like, what is it, 12-hour campaign or some shit? It's, like, 28 missions or something like that. But, like, I think it's, like, 25 critical missions and, like, a few, like, extra side missions that you can just do for for fun. Uh, you get, like, the editor, which is, like, amazing. It's actually just the most amazing editor I've ever seen. That's, like, easy easy to use. Like, obviously, yeah. you know, something that you're you going to be need, doing. You don't off. need too much uh, scripting knowledge or anything like that. Yeah. As long yeah. as you understand variables, you can do pretty much everything in it. Pretty much, right? And and uh, I've seen, like, I actually was on StarCraft 2, and I found, like, this random map. Like, I kept clicking on, like, show more maps, and I eventually got this one. It was called StarCraft Ghost. And... It basically uses the models that, um, if you play the campaign, uh, you, you can go to, like, different sections of the ship. And um, it uses, like, these, like, really nice models. But these models were actually in the game, inside yeah. of the I was playing StarCraft, but it wasn't StarCraft. Like, it wasn't even using, like, the overhead models or anything. It was using, like, these models that were, like, almost cinematic models. And I was running around as, like, a ghost. I was running yeah. around inside ship as a ghost and there's like all the other like units there and everything like and it looks unreal like the graphics are so good on those characters it's actually amazing and i'm just thinking like if if you can edit those models you can make any game you want you could make unreal tournament you could make like global agenda starcraft mod you could make like anything you could make like world of warcraft inside of starcraft but yeah the honest, warcraft 3 editor was pretty pretty solid as well this one's basically just an upgraded version of that though Craft three one, but it's like on crack. Yeah, it's like it's actually ridiculous. Like you're talking about models that are like outrageously good. It's not even actual like unit models. It's a completely different like cinematic models that you're actually using, and you run around. They're fully animated and everything. Like there's all the movements are fluent. Everything's perfect. You know, it's it's actually phenomenal what they actually did with that. So. The the sixty dollars. Well, I mean, it, it might be you know uh, kind of pricey for the person that's not going to be using the editor, or a person that's not interested in like custom games, like or the, a person that just doesn't plan on playing the game as extensively as others. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, sixty dollars. I mean, nowadays, I mean, you're. I, I think one of my uh, one of my roommates back when I was in university had uh, he got Bioshock Two on his Xbox, and it was like eighty bucks. It was like yeah. seventy. And you're looking at a game that's single player only with like a multiplayer tacked on. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, that's the problem. Console games are always quite a bit more expensive. Game, games in general are kind of climbing in price, and I think the whole special edition, limited edition, super ultra mega blaster editions of games um, are kind of being put in there to crawl up the price. So yeah. gradually, the price is going to start going up. Did you so notice that even start... Crisis Two? Sorry about that. Crisis yeah, Two. Has also done that, like a nano edition or something like that. That the nano backpack. I'm yeah, like, I mean, it just seems a little bit ridiculous. Like even a game like Crisis. I mean, most people think of Crisis as like that game you install to uh, test out your video card. And now you're gonna with Crisis Two. I, I sure, I'm sure they're going with a different route. But it, is it gonna be that game that you spend 120 dollars on to test your video card and then put it in a backpack? <laughs> <laughs> you put your smoldering, smoldering. Yeah. Remains of your video card the in the remains back. of my computer can Actually, go in that nano pack. Probably, it's probably not going to happen because I don't think they cranked up the graphics really much more. No, it doesn't Did seem. You, um, well, it is, it is multi-platform, which I mean, I'm not like knocking any system, but um, they obviously aren't going. Like if if a if PCs back in the day could barely handle Crisis One, they're obviously not going to make it like double as better. Yeah. And make PCs not be able to handle it, and then they have to like literally almost recode everything. To put it on the consoles, you know what I mean? Like, they'd rather just, like, even even computers today, I mean, Crisis 1 is, is one of the most beautiful games ever created by man. And uh, it, it runs bad on most PCs, like, you know, unless you're, you know, uh, you know, fluent in the, in the, in the PC gaming uh, world, you're not going to have a PC that can handle that game. I mean, you yeah. might have Xbox or a PS3 that can ha handle games, 
So, you know, they're they're just kind of like putting it on there. They're not really upgrading the graphics. They're just kind of working on the gameplay and the story and all that other stuff. So you're not going to really see a huge increase in graphics from what I can assume. There might be a little bit, but I can't see, you know. Well, they'll, they'll, they'll probably improve some aspects. Like Crisis, um, one of the main issues was that like the rocks and some of the terrain looked pretty bad up close. Maybe they can work on that. Yeah, but, the rocks never really looked that amazing. Yeah, I, Crisis 2 is also taking place in more uh, like industrial environments. Isn't it like New York or something? It's something, something like, like that, yeah, from what I've seen. One of my, um, one of my uh, other things with these uh, special edition things, I'm not sure if you guys saw the Call of Duty Black Ops special edition. Yeah, the RC I, car. I haven't, I haven't yeah. seen it. Oh, okay, it's an RC car. It, I haven't seen the special edition. Well, did, did you watch the uh, multiplayer trailer for it? I did. Uh, they, yeah, yeah well, I watched they, multiplayer, yeah. Well, you know that little remote control car with the explosives on it, the, the yeah. kill streak. Well, that is, um, you, you get an RC car, except for this one doesn't explode. Oh, I was going to say, like, dude, I'd buy that. If I could explode <laughs> people with it. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, no, yeah. Apparently it has a camera or something on it, actually, though. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, people said expect great. an influx of that's YouTube great. videos of people sneaking around with this RC car recording people. Hey, people are going to start driving around getting upskirt shots or something. Yeah. Close. Great, yeah. great. That means I can put my night vision goggles on the end of the RC car and drive <laughs> around. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, don't forget to put your Jane, uh, James Rayner uh, dog tag on the car as well. Yeah. They, oh, you yeah. Don't forget looking. that. And don't forget, like, I don't know, like, random art booklets. Just staple those onto the car while you're at it to disguise it as a moving uh, stack of books. Yes, a oh, stack of. Oh well, no, we can put the art books inside the NBA 2K10 locker that came. <laughs> oh yeah, right, right, yeah. Well, you can put that and then put a, get a little trailer for your RC car. Where's put, my crisis backpack during all of this? Where is that? Uh, well, you, that's what you bring it to the, wherever you're going to, and okay. like, you put everything in the backpack, and then go there, and then pull everything out. So, so it's like a carrying device, right? That makes sense to me. Obviously, well, I mean, that's the only way. You, I mean. T- I mean, it's a backpack, right? You gotta use it for something, right? You know, severed, carry severed heads around or something. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so the expansion. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Anyone see the new footage of that? No. Wait, what combat? Mortal Kombat, the new one. Mortal Kombat. No, I haven't seen anything about that. I'm not. No. I wasn't really a big fan of Mortal Kombat. I, I only like the movies that had sick music. <laughs> no, I like the movie because that uh, Luke Kang guy or whatever does a backflip like up into the air over a rocket launcher. I always thought that was great. <laughs> well, I, I like the I like the cyborg people. They were, those guys were pretty cool. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. He, he shoots a rocket out of his chest, and Buddy flips up. Like he doesn't even do a backflip. He actually just flies up. That's <laughs> great. Uh, I, I didn't really care what they were doing. I just liked the <laughs> like the they were robots. It, and it, ninjas. It, if you have robots and ninjas at the same time. Like, how can you go wrong with that? Like, you can't they, go wrong with that. They went back to the original roots of uh, the 2D um, panel kind of thing, so it's not like Tekken anymore. It's not Tekken Combat 4. It's actually just Mortal Kombat again, which is okay. nice. It's like, you know, the one that you played on the Sega. Super Nintendo, basically. Uh, yeah. I didn't have a Super Nintendo. I just had a Sega. I had a Sega, too, but, I mean, I have a Super Nintendo now. Oh, okay, well. All right, so I think, I think we've pretty much wrapped up the uh, the expansions thing. Basically... Um, um, for the expansions, so I'm assuming, like, I think the expansions are, what, like, 30 bucks or something like that they were talking about? I think so, yeah. They were cheaper so, than the regular game. Oh, well, yeah, I should hope so, right? I mean, all it is really... Hopefully, if they're doing the expansions, hopefully they're at least putting, like, literally as much... There's probably going to be a lot more emphasis on the campaign. Hopefully they're putting, like, I don't know, like, they should put, like, 30 missions on the expansions. Because I look at it this way. The engine and everything is already developed. So it's not like they have to reinvent the wheel. You know what I mean? They already yeah. have everything. They just so need all, to they're doing, all, they're doing is putting, like, all they're doing is cinematics, voice actors, and, and, and putting the maps together. Which, I mean, I mean, yeah, they're pretty big things, but if you have a year to do that, I mean, it's... It's not big, too big of a deal. So, and hopefully they do use a year to do that, rather than like four months yeah. down the road or something stupid like that. I hope they at least make them a year, or yeah, like roughly a year apart, because that'll be a little bit better. It'll be a little bit easier on the pocketbook, and um, and it, it, it won't be as kind of ridiculous. And he'll probably make everyone a little bit more happy. And hopefully they don't really do 